An additional benefit of using swatches is that you can share your swatches. And so if you start a project and you choose the coral, sunshine, water, grass, taffy, and plum swatches, and those are the colors that must be used in all of the projects, all the different versions of the project you're working on, you can send those swatches to your colleague that you're working with, and they, ha and they can then use the exact colors that you've created. And so if you select on the, on the swatches panel, if you select a series of swatches, so I click the first one, I held shift and I click the last one, you can hit the option fly out menu to export your selected swatches or export swatches for exchange. If you choose to export your selected swatches, you will save what's called a .aco file, Adobe Color file. And if you export for swatches exchange, you will save a .ase file. I recommend the .ase file because you can use that in Illustrator and in InDesign, and so it's the easiest way to move the swatches from one Adobe program to another. I'm only gonna demo one, they work exactly the same way. So choose one, doesn't matter which, and export your swatches. When you do this, it's going to save, in this case, a .ase file. I'll toss it on my desktop, give it a name, say Jessica's swatches. With it selected, you can now share it with someone else. They can come to their swatches panel, hit the option fly out menu, and choose import swatches. But in order for you to see it work, I have to delete my existing files. So give me um, my existing swatches. So let me go ahead and delete these swatches. They now no longer exist on my swatches panel. I can get them back by hitting the option fly out menu, choose to import swatches, can find wherever I put Jessica's swatches, it's a .ase file, and then select open. Now I have a folder that has the swatches. I can grab the grass green and immediately start painting, and it matches the exact color that whoever shared these swatches with me wants me to use.